What's up guys, it's Ellie. So today I'm going to be talking about some of the stupid things I did in high school. So the first thing isn't something I really could have prevented. Well, I could have. But it was the end of my sophomore year and I was going up the steps. Well, actually, I didn't even get up the first step because I tripped over my flip-flop and I ended up breaking these two fingers. <sighs> yeah, but that wasn't the stupid part. The stupid part was I could clearly tell they were broken, they were like swollen so big, and but I just sat in my first period class rubbing it against the cold desk because we were watching a video and I was too scared to tell the teacher that I needed to go to the nurse. So then after that class, I ended up going to the nurse with my best friend and she told me that it's probably broken and ended up being broken and I was late to math class which was algebra though so I didn't really care. It seems like I really hurt myself a lot in high school because the next one I was running on one of those elliptical things and my shoe was untied I think so like I went down to tie it and stupid me I came up and I hit my head off the bar that moves when you run and I ended up getting a concussion I had stitches in my head from it and it was just stupid like why didn't I just get off the elliptical I mean it was so stupid it was so stupid I had this massive crush on a guy all throughout high school and a little bit of middle school and my friend knew it yet she was gonna ask him to homecoming for herself and not like I was gonna ask him out but it just really annoyed me because I liked him so uh, me and my other friends shunned her and we rearranged her locker and it just turned into this big fight and I didn't talk to her for a good like five months and it was really stupid and I got so out of control. I'm friends with her now though. It, it's good. We're, we're friends again. Only I don't think she knows about the locker. Sorry, Olivia. Class just ended and I was talking to the same crush actually and we were walking out of the room still finishing our conversation and I think he asked me a question and I accidentally dropped my pencil case. He being a gentleman picked it up, I thanked him, we finished our conversation, I went upstairs for the next period. Well, when I got there, I opened up my pencil case to pull out a pencil and my iPod was in there, which was like my baby because I didn't have a phone at the time. And it was smashed so badly and it stayed like that for a good six, seven months until I got it fixed. The great driver that I am went to one of my friend's houses, I think it was junior year, and there were so many cars there that I had to find a place to park. The only place available was between my friend's car and her tree. Now the tree had limbs very long, so I tried to avoid hitting the tree. I went closer to her car to pull in, and I hit her tail light, and the tail light popped off. But that would have been fine. I could have fixed it on my own if everyone wasn't standing outside, watched me hit the car, and saw it move. Well, the battery died. I think it was in the middle of a talking. So I think the angle changed slightly because when the battery died, I had to plug in my camera and the tripod moved. So back to the stories. So I was in 10th grade biology when I heard one of my acquaintances in the room say before that she cut someone's hair and it turned out really well and someone else agreed. Well, about a week later, uh, same biology class, we were outside in the hallway working on a huge project that was due at the end of the day, and she asked me if she could cut my bangs, because at the time they were really long and swoopy in front of my face, and they needed to be cut anyway, and I heard she was good at cutting hair, so I was like, okay, you can do it. So about half the class was watching her, instead of working on a project, cutting my bangs, and they weren't bad, but some pieces here were a little short and it, let's just say I pulled my bangs back for the rest of the year after that. That was a really bad idea. Me and two of my best friends, Kate and Sabrina, 
decided to have a Harry Potter movie marathon where we watch all the Harry Potter movies in order. That takes around 22-23 hours depending on if you have any mini breaks in there. So we were at Kate's house and we got through I think two of the movies before we got a little bored and her mom said well why don't we go on a trip to her grandmother's house. So we went to her grandmother's house but on the way back we ended up stalking some of the boys that Kate and Sabrina liked at the time and it got really creepy. Like they yelled their names outside their houses and then her mom like drove off and but in the end we got Shamrock Shakes, so I mean it was all good. Right? Okay, so that's it for this week's video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you've done anything stupid in high school that you regret. Make sure to follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, Vine. All my social media sites will be in the down bar. And most importantly, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every Wednesday. And you can also see videos on my new series, Tea Time, that come out randomly. So that's it. So I'm going to go.